New here at five, a dog owner in St. Pete is hoping deputies and the community can help find her French bulldog. She says a driver stole him yesterday after he got loose and was along 46th Avenue North. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer is on this story for us tonight. And Aaron, what do you know so far about the person who took the dog? Well, not much, Brianna, other than the car that that person was driving. And it's fortunate a witness saw what was going on and took some photos. That's Cookie, the French bulldog. He's normally at home during the day with his owner and dog sibling, a German shepherd named Caesar. But on Thursday... I didn't know that it was a Frenchie. A woman driving by saw both dogs walking by themselves down 46th Avenue North in St. Pete. And then something else happened that worried her. She says this car pulled up, someone opened the door, and took little Cookie, but left Caesar behind. The dog jumped right in. It backed out. And the other German Shepherd's like right there. And I'm like, why didn't they get their dog? So that made me think, okay, this is a stolen dog. She says the owner, who declined an interview, arrived and got her German Shepherd. The Pinellas Sheriff's Office is investigating. I personally believe that any dog that is on the street, you should help because, and it doesn't matter the breed, whether it's a pit bull or whatever, it's, it needs help. According to the American Kennel Club, French Bulldogs are the most sought-after dogs in the U.S. They can also cost several thousand dollars. This woman wants the community to keep an eye out for Cookie. He has some unique markings. She worries he'll be resold instead of returned. And she has this message for the person who took the dog. Call the tag on the dog. The dog has a collar with a tag on it. And get it back to its rightful owner. It's wrong. It's, it's extremely wrong what you did. And we're told the French Bulldog does not have a microchip. So if anybody has any kind of information, Brianna, they should call the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. They come forward with that information quickly. All right, Aaron Mesmer reporting for us on this tonight. Thanks, Aaron.